banks here. We'll start with Ben. Tim, I imagine one thing that may keep you up at night leading into the opener is how your team or defense is going to tackle. And with the rule changes over the last several years, is it more difficult to have your guys be prepared physically and, and ready to tackle at the level that you want them at by the time the opener rolls around? And, and just how would you assess where your defense is at tackling right now? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fine line that you walk, you know, because the reality of it is, you know, tackling is a skill that has to be developed through tackling. And um, you probably don't get enough tackling opportunities, you know, for the good of the game. You're trying to protect the guys and keep them healthy. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you got to do it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we've done everything we can to get these guys prepared to tackle. You know, I think whether it was 10 years ago or last year, you know, it's always the same. You know, you got to get that first tackle under your belt, you know, in that first game. And I think the guys will get comfortable and, you know, get going. But the reality of it is we talk about, you know, playing with relentless effort. You know, we feel like even if a guy is not quite where he needs to be and maybe stumbles through a tackle, if we're running to the ball with the pursuit that's required, then I think we should be okay. Knowing you guys always want to get better and improve, but after seeing these guys in spring and in fall camp, kind of where do you assess the strengths of your of your defense right now heading into the season? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. I think the depth, you know, I feel like um, we got a lot of guys that have played some football around here. And, you know, we got a good blend of some young guys, you know, some of the early enrollees that just got here and, and some of the guys that were freshmen last year who played a small role. Uh, we expect those guys to play a larger role this season. So um, I think you would say, what is our strength right now going into our first game? I would just say our depth. You know, we feel really good that uh, we should be able to rotate a lot of guys and give a lot of guys opportunities that they've earned through camp. And um, it, it's exciting, to be quite honest with you. It's exciting to know that, you know, you can roll different guys out there and try to keep those guys fresh as we possibly can. When did you feel that? Did you feel that day one in camp, or was that – Two weeks into camp, you went, hey, we got, we got a lot of bodies that could have. When did, when did you kind of get that vibe? Yeah, honestly, I, I felt like that going into spring. You know, we knew we had a lot of guys competing. You know, you, you, you want to get better. You know, you need guys to compete. You know, you don't want guys getting comfortable. And, you know, whether you're talking about the back end or whether you're talking about the linebacker position, we just feel like we have more guys that, you know, are able to compete and challenge each other and help each other get better. So um, I know we've had the depth. You know, it's just obviously, you know, figuring out what the best combination of guys are and, you know, dictating and, and deciding how many reps to give each man to keep them fresh. So um, we felt like it was a good situation and, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll show itself this season. How predetermined would you say your rotations are? Going into a game, how, how far into it do you know who's going to be in the game at what point and – and at what point in the game does circumstances dictate that? Yeah, I mean, I think circumstances always play a factor, you know, what's going on, you know, guys, you know, injuries, whatever. But at the end of the day, you go into the game having a rotation and plan, knowing that, you know, you expect these guys to come in these series. And, you know, depending on how long the series is, depending on how many more series they get. So uh, it's a fluid situation, but we always go into the game uh, having a plan in terms of how we will rotate guys. You talk about the depth across the board, but where do you feel like you are at safety um, as we head into the season? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it starts with Tank. You know, Tank's obviously played a lot of football for us around here. And, you know, Wesley Walker played a ton of snaps last year as well for us, you know, at some star, at some safety. So, um, you know, Jordan Thomas, you know, is a guy who was a special teams guy who did a tremendous job for us last season that – uh, we think we'll be able to help us. And, you know, Christian Charles is rotated in from corner to safety to um, star. So uh, we feel like we got some guys. And, and Andre, you know, Tarantine, we feel like he's got a chance to be able to help the team. So um, I think we have really good depth there. You know, obviously we don't have the guys that have played as many snaps as Flowers played the year before, you know, outside of Tank. But we think collectively, you know, we have a good um, group of guys to work with. And, you know, we're excited to watch those guys play and perform. How consistent do you feel like Josh Josephs and James Pierce has been this fall camp behind Roman? Yeah, I think those guys have gotten, you know, um, significantly better, you know, really. Um, you know, their, their roles have grown. You know, things that we're asking them to do has grown. I think their maturity has started to show through. And you expect that, you know, that the things that we, you know, um, basically gave them a pass for as freshmen, you know, they won't get those passes this year. We expect those guys to grow, you know, any of the guys really, you know, your first year and your second year, it should be some growth. And um, both those guys have shown that and, you know, we're excited about, you know, their future in this season. 
does the depth mean you just have more bodies to play, or does that depth mean you can do more things schematically, you, you can be more multiple defensively? Yeah, I mean, I, I think most people would describe us as being pretty multiple at this point already. Um, but I think the more guys you have, um, the more versatile they are, you know, the more you can do with them and put them in some different spots and, and still really um, have the ability to play to their strengths. So I think the question is, do we have more guys that are versatile? I would say absolutely, you know, and I think we'll have a chance to showcase their skill sets to um, hopefully help us continue to move the needle in the right direction. So, um, but definitely having the bodies helps from a depth perspective and playing more snaps, but we also feel we do have some versatile defenders that are able to do multiple things for us. Yes, sir. Uh, Virginia named Tony Musket as their starting quarterback. How quickly do you dive into the tape and what do you know about him? Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're getting to it, you know, and, you know, we had a chance to watch him, I believe, at Monmouth. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Um, you know, really good player. You know, he played really well for those guys and um, showed some athleticism, you know, really good touch on the deep balls. And, um, you know, I could see why those guys went and got him. And, you know, I can see why those guys named him the starter. So, you know, we respect everybody that, that we face. And, you know, he, he's gotten our attention. And, you know, we know we're going to have to be at our best to be able to, you know, have a good game against him. Tim, what are your thoughts on David Hobbs up front? Is he a guy who – I know that can be a tough place for a freshman to kind of step in and make an impact, but maybe he's a kid who can do that. Is he a guy who's going to have to have a chance to play some maybe? Yeah, we're excited about Hobbs. I mean, we really are. You talk about guys with versatility, you know, a guy that can, you know, play inside, can play outside for us. Um, yep, he is a freshman, but he's extremely talented. Um, he's light on his feet for a big guy. Um, is there a learning curve for a freshman? No, no, no doubt about it. You know, no different than, you know, Josh and James from last year. So, you know, we'll obviously work with him and work through some of the growing pains. But, you know, we, we feel like he, he has an extremely high ceiling. And, you know, we're super excited to, you know, watch him perform as well this season. Looking at the pass rushing, kind of where are you at that Leo position, Roman Harrison? And, and who are some guys – inside who can maybe get after the passer? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it starts with Big O. You know, we think O has improved a ton. You know, he's obviously a big body guy that um, has shown some versatility in terms of what we ask him to do. Um, you know, Lot, you know, is another guy that, you know, obviously just got here um, in the spring that, you know, we're super excited about as well. So, yeah, we, we feel like we'll have some guys, you know, in the interior to be able to, you know, push the pocket and affect the quarterback that way. And, you know, when you start talking about our edge guys, you've already mentioned, you know, the, the usual suspects from Roman to Josh to, um, to James Pierce and, you know, um, and Caleb Herring as well. You know, so we feel like we have some guys that, you know, have a chance to affect the quarterback, but definitely having some guys inside would only help that campaign. At this point a year ago, Arion Carter was just starting to play linebacker and had no, you know, big time power five offers. All of a sudden, it all comes on for him so fast, and here he is now. It looks like he's going to be a contributor for you in year one. What's he done to take himself from where he was a year ago, thought of as a running back prospect, to potential, you know, two deep linebacker in a power five school? Yeah, the, the kid is a worker. You know, first and foremost, you know, he has he has a great, a tremendous amount of confidence, um, and, and he believes in himself, and he believes in what we're what we're teaching him. So, um, I, I love this kid. You know, he's going to play a ton for us. Um, the steps and the growth that he's shown coming from spring to our fall camp has been tremendous. Um, but again, I think it's a testimony to just how hard the kid works and how committed he is to being great. So uh, we're excited about him. You know, we, we think he's right where he needs to be as he continues to grow as a freshman. You know, just like with all the guys, there is a learning curve that's, that's expected. But, you know, if I know him like I think I do, you know, he's going to push through that curve and he's going to continue to grow and, and, and get even better as the season progresses. For uh, for all freshmen, all true freshmen, what is pushing through that curve? What do you, once they play in a game, what are you looking for that says that they belong out there? Yeah, I, I think you know the, the consistency part. That's the rig that's the biggest thing. You know, being able to handle the highs and lows. You know, when you you playing at this level, you know there are going to be some some challenging moments during the course of a game practice. And the way they handle it, you know, is typically a freshman. Sometimes they get too high. Sometimes they get too low. But I think as they continue to grow, they'll be more consistent in their approach, number one, with their process. And I think you'll start to see dividends on the field. So I just think it's being able to manage the, the, the game itself and the process is probably the biggest learning curve that most young people struggle with.
Uh, Christian Harrison, how have you seen him grow from his freshman year to sophomore year? Yeah, yeah, Christian is, um, you know, he's been one of those guys that's been competing at that corner position, and um, I think he's grown as well. You know, again, and you should. I know I, I keep saying the same thing, you know, as a freshman, you're just trying to figure it out, and, you know, you're trying to, you know, work through your role, whatever that was last year for him, and, you know, obviously those guys are all working hard to create a, a, a bigger role, and, you know, he's no different. You know, I thought he made tremendous strides, you know, finishing last season, you know, was a factor on our special teams, and, you know, and um, some of the games he got in, we thought he improved, and, um, he showed those same those, those same traits during spring, and he's really picked up where he left off in the fall. So uh, he'll be a, definitely a guy that that will continue to grow, and you know we're, we're extremely happy where he is right now. Thank you, Coach. All right, appreciate you guys.